I with Knights head baseball coach Gary Puccio, whose squad opens a critical four-game series tomorrow against Long Island in Northeast Conference play. It'll also be the first uh, <clears throat> series of the season at the new Namoli Family Baseball Complex. Now, Coach, season so far hasn't really been according to plan, but I just want to have you give us your overall thoughts of the team's morale so far. You know, I, I know the record isn't good. Uh, we've played a lot of competitive games, and you have to start playing competitive games before you start playing winning games. And for the most part, we're starting to do that. Uh, not to make excuses, but obviously we have not played a home game all year. That doesn't help. That changes tomorrow, and I think that's a big positive, and I think the guys are really looking forward to that. And hopefully we can turn that into a couple of victories. Well, as tomorrow, as you mentioned, is the first uh, official home game. Now, how have you, you and your staff and the players, um, what are their feelings to finally towards playing at home? I think today's practice is a real, really upbeat practice. Uh, playing on the field, obviously, the Namoli Family Baseball Complex is gorgeous. It's uh, given new life and new breath to our program. And I do believe that that's going to start showing. And I also believe the fact that, you know, the kids have played basically seven, what, 22 games for me so far this year. Um, takes a little time to try to develop things, especially when you have seniors who spent three years doing it one way and you're asking them to do some things a little differently. It takes time to adjust to all that. And I, I, I'm not really upset with the record. My feeling is as long as they're trying to progress and trying to get better, that in the long run things will work out. This is, you know, we're not in a sprint, we're in a marathon, and I do believe better things and better days are ahead. Do you think we could see any changes in the lineup, or are you going to be going with what you pretty much have gone with all season in the first few conference series? Well, one of the changes that I'm making is uh, Eric Anderson will be the starting pitcher tomorrow. Eric Anderson will be the starting pitcher tomorrow, and uh, nothing against what Chris has done for us, because Chris is a bulldog, and I love Chris Theodore. I think everybody who's out there and watches Chris pitch and knows me knows that Chris is the epitome of what I want in a player. He gives you 100% and then some. But uh, I just felt putting Chris in the bullpen for the weekend gives us a little more spunk coming out of bullpen. We've been having trouble after the fifth inning. Chris has the resiliency to be able to do that and come back the next day and pitch again. And I felt this was a better move where Eric is a little more, once he's pitched, I can't really use him again too much over the weekend. He's so I just felt this was a uh, this was a move that was worth trying. Eric's been outstanding for us too. He's had a real solid year on the mound. So we'll see what comes of it. And uh, obviously, Melk and uh, Matt Cadigan and Michael Eisen will be the other three pitchers for us. And all three of them have been pitching fairly well. Nick, of course, has been pitching excellent. Well, Coach, um, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Hopefully, we can get back to our winning ways.